What's going on? How's everyone doing? Just shout out to you. Everybody else seems cool. Shucky! I didn't even say. Eat your popcorn. And your Coca Cola and relax. <clears throat> anyway, tell Colin. I'm rich. What's going on? This is Colin. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Ooh, I've got two. I've got two for you this morning. Second one's really short. First one's not very long either, but they're back to back and they're both wild. So I decided to put them both in the video. This is Judge Garcia out of San Antonio, Texas. She is, she might have the most patience out of any judge I've seen to not, she didn't even threaten contempt on either one of these two tenants and yeah i mean contempt doesn't happen often in the civil court but it can and these two are lucky that it didn't happen to them all right before i hit that play button you know what to do hit the like and subscribe do your jump kick back flips let's go come, come on up miss warner and miss victoria and i will do the talking so come on up miss warner miss victoria whoever's representing them give me one minute i will do the talking Give me one minute. I'm just reading what we're what we're doing here. Hold on. All right. Um, who is here representing um, the Treadwells? Uh, Wendell and Yvonne Mohammed. I'm sorry, what was your name? Yvonne Mohammed. Okay, Yvonne. All right, Yvonne, you are the mother of Victoria? Yes, ma'am, I'm the mother also occupant. Where's Victoria at? Um, I'm not really sure. Okay. And Ms. Warner, if not mistaken, didn't Victoria show up to the court on the first yep. hearing? At the eviction. Okay, that's all I want to know. All right, so Yvonne, um, you are here wanting to stop the writ of possession. Give me a legal, legal reason why I should stop this writ of possession because your daughter was here on September the 3rd. She appeared in court. She never brought up a notice to vacate issue, so you're not going to bring that up now after the fact. Um, also, she was here. She was aware of what was going on. She was aware of the judgment, and she was aware of her time to appeal, which she has missed, by the way. So give me one good reason, legal reason, that I should stop this writ of possession. Okay, well, first of all, on the day, the last day that we have to appeal, the plaintiff showed up to the house. First, she began just riding around, circling. Then she, somebody else parked out front. But at first, I didn't know it was associated with the plaintiff. Then the next what thing I know, I could, you coming down here filing an appeal. Well, I'm trying to tell you. Well, get now to I the finish? point because her riding around is not has nothing to do with why you can't get here. Right, but I'm trying to get to, there were other things that have happened. Let's speed it along, ma'am. I've got a bunch of cases. Let's go. Okay, so then uh, the plaintiff pulled up in front of the other people and got out and started talking to them. Then a U-Haul pulled up. Then a plaintiff went around and began taking uh, personal items that belong to my daughter out of the garage, then proceeded to start to, at first I thought she was taking all, everything. I didn't really know what she was doing because before that she would walk past and yell profanity things and, and obscene remarks at my door while she was walking through. When she first pulled up, I immediately came in the house because I knew she was going to try to start some type of altercation because she's already threatened to have 
some goons come over here. Almost all of her text messages to me involve her cursing me out and being abusive and threatening in nature. Yeah, and I have never been. You got bit. two minutes. You got two minutes to give me a legal reason. I should stop this. You have not given me one legal reason. You absolutely should stop this. Stop it before it gets carried away. Everything she's saying, yeah, it sucks. Um, she didn't enter your premise, though. She wants her property back. You haven't paid rent. I think I did cover part one of this during a live because Miss Victoria, I feel like that just sounds familiar, but I don't know. I, I watch a lot of this, Judge. It might have been something I just watched and didn't cover. But, yeah, stop her. So the the... The landlord has people driving around the property waiting for you to leave. That's what they're doing, you know, and then they pulled up and started talking to someone else and they're not going to bring a U-Haul to, to kick you out. They're just going to put your stuff on the street. So become relevant, become relevant real quick. Sorry, not, not her as a person, her, her story. Get to it. Well, well, the harassment. And the verbal abuse that she created on that day, preventing us from filing an appeal in a timely manner. And there are other okay. things, but I see that you don't have time to hear them. And you say a legal reason. That is a legal reason in my eyes, because she did obstruct uh, and create a lot of turmoil and cause a lot of anxiety and stress on the day, on the last day that we had, seeing that the weekend preceded that. All right. So, Ms. Vaughn, unfortunately, having anxiety is not a legal reason why I should stop a writ of I possession. That wasn't what I okay. cited. I didn't cite anxiety as a reason. I said why she I created anxiety through her, through her threatening and abusive actions. That's what I said. Okay. Which are All unlawful right. to, to retaliate in that way and to, to, to be, to, to come to the property and to speak to me that way for no reason, for no unprovoked reason, to be cursing me out and threatening me. Yes, that is, that does cause a problem. And you might not see it and I can understand it, but yes, that, that is one of the reasons. Okay. Um, all right. So, Miss Yvonne, your other reason was, Something about not fixing anything on the property, which is irrelevant to the eviction. A broken air conditioner, no, which no, is irrelevant. No, 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 it, the, the things are relevant. The, 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 the condition. They're not relevant in an eviction petition. If you want to sue her in another set of court for these conditions, you're more than welcome to. But at this point, yes, I cannot consider it in an eviction case. Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, and I'm going through your yes, petition and I, I'm giving you the time. You have six points here and I'm trying to get through one, all of them to see if there's any legal reason. But I, I, again, I don't have a legal reason to go ahead and set this besides water damage, mold, the oven stopped working, uh, dates. Uh, well, I mean, for well, I mean, I want to talk about, first of all, when we go to the condition and then let me feel why, even though I know that's a, issue in a separate court let me explain to you so if you're if you're trying to move and she's been though she says she wants the uh, people uh the, us out of the property she's done many things to obstruct our ability to leave on a timely matter is is what i'm trying to say ma'am when you first of all she come and put her stuff in front of our stuff i i have a problem lifting things then she bolted down the garage door so we can't open the garage. So now we can only go through the door. It's extremely hot in there. I have blood pressure problems. I'm diabetic. I have other health care problems. I can't be in extreme heat. Now, if I'm out there for five minutes or more, my blood pressure elevates and I'm sick due to the, nor can I move her things out of the way. So I don't know how you don't understand that her putting her things in the way, bolting things down, preventing air from circulating when it is extremely hot. Then let's go to the conditions of the house. The air conditioner no, has been broke and she knows. The house. Well, what? I'm not. trying to explain to you how that has house. affected. Excuse me? You need to calm it, down, first of all. Do you understand me? You, I, you are not going to sit here and scream in my court. 
Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. All right, then you need to calm down. Wow, that yes, ma'am, back to the judge. Ooh, Judge Simpson, for one, would not take that. Like, no, you're going to drop that attitude right now. I will I will pass this matter. We're going to take you up at the end of the docket. You need to calm down. That's what he would have done. Ooh, Judge Garcia doesn't usually see a lot of this. So I, I, this is what I said. Did, I'm surprised this. she shouldn't be held in contempt. She's just really upset and frustrated. But I wouldn't be, it wouldn't surprise me if a judge would warn her. The next person, the person that's at the bottom of the screen right now, her case is next. She, what she does is contemptuous. Now, again, I apologize. I apologize. We are not going to discuss the conditions of the apartment. I cannot hear them. I cannot even consider them, even if I wanted to. It is a legal matter that has nothing to do with eviction. And again, it does not stop the writ of possession. I have given you time and time to give me a legal matter. And as of right now, I am sorry that your health is an issue. I am sorry that it is hot outside. And I am sorry that Miss Warner is driving by and giving you some type of anxiety. I apologize for that. But again, I cannot stop the writ of possession based on those circumstances. I have given you. Well, can I ask you one thing? Can I ask you. you a question? Can I ask you a question? You, ask, you can ask me a question. How am I supposed to retrieve my things after she puts her things in front of them and I can't move the things that she's put in front of my things? What did she put in front of your things? Chairs, tables, desks, boxes. Move the table. They're not small chairs. They're large, heavy items, and I cannot move large, heavy items. All right, Mr. Duplex with the double garage. My cousin has part with the automatic door opener. That's why she can't get open because there's a garage door opener on his half. Her half was not disturbed. I put what we did on his half with his permission. It did it does not obstruct their thing at all. When that is not true. Time. She has there's, things on both sides. Yeah, and we have things on both sides. No, because it's a mutual all right. area. All right. So, um, Miss Yvonne, um, I've given you time. Again, I haven't had a legal reason. The writ of possession will proceed forward. Thank you. Thank you, Judge Garcia. Okay. Thank Thanks you. very much. All right. And then we have got. Yeah. Again, that doesn't rise to contempt, but, you know. Sometimes when you threaten it, they'll calm down real quick. But this next one, man, come on. Uh, Aurora, come on up, counsel. Oh, he just stepped out? Okay, I'll be with him. Okay. Turnkey, come on up, turnkey. Okay. Turnkey and then Jessica Salcedo. I think Jessica is on Zoom. Yeah, I'm right here. All right, Miss Jessica. All right, give me one minute. Uh, turnkey looks like this was a reset from August the 31st. Um, I'm guessing the month to be rent hasn't changed 1600. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, now go ahead and tell, tell me the total amount that you're seeking in back rent because obviously that I think has changed. So go ahead. Uh, April through September is 1600 a month. So tell me what was was she supposed to become current, or what was the reason for the reason? Yes, the original spelling of the name wrong. My God, I'm someone else who represents them. Okay. It had to do with, okay. Okay. Had to do so, with uh, the lady Cynthia who worked there before stealing money. Uh, I've paid up until June. They keep on saying that I haven't paid since like March. To my knowledge, I only owe six thousand four hundred dollars. And then also before I had left that last time, I was telling you about like, they have everything all wrong. They said that I signed up for a guarantor and that the guarantor paid my deposit, which is false because after we had left the court, I went to go talk to Joe that's right outside the door. And uh, he actually pulled up how the city of San Antonio paid my deposit plus a dog deposit. And she actually sent me an email saying that 
I was a liar and that the guarantor paid my deposit. Okay. okay. So okay. I blame right. everything for so, lie coming from their end. Okay. So Jessica, right now the deposit is not an issue. I don't know what's going on with that. So you can take that up in another court if you like. But it's the fact but, that they're lying but, and stealing. Jessica, I need you to focus on what the questions I'm answering, okay? Give me one minute. You said that you paid April, May, June. Can I, yes. I see those receipts? I don't have it. I'm literally moving out. I'm moving out because I don't want to deal with their lies anymore. Like, honestly, okay, this so company is I doing all kinds of weird things. Half of the people moved okay. out here. And I literally spoke to a gentleman the other day who needed my assistance to move stuff because he used to pay fifteen hundred. And now his rent's nineteen hundred. There's all kinds of issues going here. You cannot even move rent to that. I don't want to get something on me about this guarantor because they're lying about the fact saying that I got my deposit taken care of that. And no, I didn't. Well, the you're not gonna, Jessica. I Jessica. Own June, July, August, and now September. I owe $6,000. Well, gonna... I'm moving out Jessica. of this house. Jessica. For them not to put an eviction that on me. That is enough, Jessica. That's enough. Y'all are ridiculous. You're not going to tell me what we're going to do. You I didn't tell you what we're going to do. I am asking you for proof so that I can take it off. If you can't provide me proof, then guess what? I'm not going to take guess. it off. I told you that the last time. Excuse me? How about you just go ahead and let them say what I owe, but I don't want an eviction. That's wrong, and they know well, that they're lying. It doesn't work like that. I'm moving it out. It doesn't work like that. Really? Because so, I've seen I'm you tell other people you. that. I'm going to ask you one last time if you can show me proof. Otherwise, I have to proceed forward. Come go ahead. We'll just appeal it. Go okay, ahead. go ahead. I'll just appeal it. That's fine. When I actually move, I'll find those receipts. Well, then you go show the other court that. Um, but yeah, you didn't want to see my email about them saying that I lied or anything. Get her off. Get her off. Stupid bitch. Judgment is granted. You're free to go. You are. Keep this case in sight because I'm going to file something. Ooh, I told you. I told you. Now I got to talk for a little bit because I can't end it on that. Yeah. Yeah. That's contempt. And judge just that. Keep her file. Keep her file right here because I'm going to file something. I don't know what that means. but. Anyways, these are two spicy ones. I told you. I told you these were good. And I was going to make this two separate videos, but I just decided, hey, I'm going to put them together. They're both good. So I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please hit that like button. I would very much appreciate it. It helps me more than you know. All right. That's all I got. Until next time. Bye. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> one, three, zero, one, 12.